Hey loves, welcome again to another beautiful episode of Reaction on the channel. If you're meeting me or you see me for the first time, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Daniel, you're welcome to Daniel's React. On this channel, we keep it cool, we keep it simple by reacting to musical videos and anything that will dare to entertain you. We all have it on this channel. So don't go anywhere. What you just need to do is to hit on the subscribe button, like this video and share this video to your friends and loved ones. For all our returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back to check on what we have to offer on this channel. Okay, take us back to Anunnaki. Mm -hmm. What are they? Well, these the, giants? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the Anunnaki, uh, they are these beings that came from oh. off world. So these are aliens? These are aliens. Now what's interesting about these aliens is that they're not little green men with antenna. Yeah. They're actually hominids, bilateral bipedal hominids. They look like, just like us. Okay. You slice them in half, they have two four face looking wow. eyes, two hands, legs. They put their pants on one leg at, one leg at a time like us. But, but do they, they look more like us or more like come on, <laughs> us? <laughs> <laughs> they look like, they, we look like them. Okay. Oh. We actually look like them. Okay. And the reason why is because we have their genetics and their DNA inside of our bodies. Mm. Now, what's interesting is these beings were oh a, 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 a space-faring wow. race that broke away from the Pleiadian star system. The Pleiadian star system is a group of stars called the Seven Sisters mm. in the night sky. You can see six stars with the naked eye. Now, these stars in ancient times, according to ancient texts and tablets, there was an ancient galactic war there. Okay. Most of the information from Star Wars comes from this text. And this war, they had these destroyers like Death Stars. They don't call them that, but they, they call them the Brahma Astra and Brahma Astra Honda weapons that actually can release a weapon that can destroy planets. Okay. Imagine if you were in a star system and a planet is being blown up and you're in a nearby planet. You, you got to get fuck out of off it. of your planet. Yeah. Mm. This created something called space refugees. Nobody's talking about this. Oh, wait, where, where are you getting this information again? Where is the this? The Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita, the Indian Vedas. So, th so these are Indian, ancient Indian texts. That's right. Five thousand years ago. Yeah. Okay. And the Enuma Elish. I just want to let you know. To, oh, I want to get to this, but yeah. for this entire episode, yeah. we're not fact checking. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're not debating. We're not pushing. Take us down yeah. the rabbit hole. We want to see how down. deep it goes. The people can listen to what I'm saying and they can go look all of it up. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Take us down the rabbit I'll hole. I'm taking Billy. you, man. Okay, let's go. So we're talking about. Yes, the, and. <laughs> we're talking about the evidence, the very first evidence of space refugees. So you're seeing this in these ancient Indian texts. Yeah. Okay. You come across this mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, let me see if there's some truth to this because yeah. I'm seeing this across multiple ancient Indian texts. Right. Any other texts referencing this? The Terra Papers, an ancient wow. indigenous American text Ooh. as well. Okay. A very little known text that hardly anyone talks about. The Hopi tribe uh, elders have, have written this book based on that text and published it actually. It's called the Terra Paper, so that it wasn't just in, in uh, indigenous lore, but it made it finally to publishing. So it's actual text that we can all read and get access to. It reads like the Star Wars movie. Just take <laughs> out the love stories and all that. And what's interesting is it talks about, again, these same galactic wars going That's on. True. People fleeing from that region of space, looking for other planets, Orion, Aldebaran, um, Sirius A, B, and C, which we know the Dogon talk about people coming from Sirius B which is a, a star that ran out, of, ran out of fuel, and of course, Earth. And they came here to create a breakaway civilization. Just like if there was a war, and there, which were, there was in mm -hmm. our solar system, that's what we call Mars, the God of War, we're gonna be like, you know, we gotta get off this planet because the debris is going to destroy us. So we're the, we're the product of pussy aliens, Ooh. basically. Like <laughs> aliens who weren't ready to bang and fight for their future and their freedom, they just ran. We're defectors. They were, the, that they were the elites that had the access to the to the ships mm. that can take them from one star to another. So are they like the politicians that like didn't go to Vietnam? Right. Wow. Exactly. God, it's so, yeah. yeah, we're the product of like rich, they're, they're, privileged they're, kids. They're yeah. the guys with the ten thousand dollars suits that just sent everyone out yes. to die. They would be protesting at Columbia, right? Correct. Now. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, yeah, good, that's good. who these people are. Uh, mm. And so some of them came to Earth. And so Anunnaki is a general term. It doesn't mean one race. It's just like if, if all of us here got in a spaceship and flew to Mars wow. and we met a Martian and he said, who are you guys? We'd say Earthlings. Got it. They would, they, but they maybe would call us right. Anunnaki. Yeah, There's, I wouldn't say I'm Billy Carson from Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So they would get, so, oh, they're Earthlings. That's one term, but we're all different races here. Right. Right. So, but that's, so Anunnaki is a, is a, is a term to, to say those who came from heaven to earth, that's it. 
Mm. In Africa, they call it the Nituru, which means the same exact thing. The gods that came from heaven to earth and turned mud into a kingdom. Mm. Now, the civilization they built is the Atlantean civilization. So this is where we hear about Atlantis, the yes. mythology of Atlantis. Right. Got it. Okay. They built the Atlantis. And, and, and where's the uh, evidence for this? Where do you read about that? Well, if you look in the text, um, if you, well, a lot of the Indian texts, the Got Vedas, it. the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita, uh, the, the ancient lore of the indigenous aboriginals, the, the uh, Terra Papers, the Enuma Elish, the Epic of Atra Hasis, the Code of Hammurabi, uh, the Myth of Atana. There's so many tablets, I can just keep going down, so down, down. Everybody's referencing yeah. the Atlantean civilization. Yeah. Obviously, the most popular one is, was it uh, Plato's uncle exactly. or something like that? Uh, Pla yeah. oh, Plato. Plato wrote about this. Oh, yeah. he did? Yes, he did. Yes, okay. You know? Got it, got right. it, got it, got it. And so, you know, you start looking at this information. That was more recent. I mean, when I say recent, it's not as ancient. But the account uh, of Plato's account of Atlantis is, is not that ancient. But we're talking about... The ring city, but that was just one capital. So that ring city that was being described is one capital of dozens that existed yeah. on Earth at the same time. True. Do we know where these other ones might be? Is there uh, any remnants? They were on them? every continent. Every single continent. We're standing on Atlantis right now. We're sitting right on top of Atlantis. It was New York. Yes. Everyone on this planet is on top of Atlantis. Mm. <laughs> so Remember when you that. start to look uh, at the Americas, you discover that there were so many pyramids in the Americas, there were literally thousands of them. What happened to them? The Catholic Church blew up the tops of these pyramids and built churches on top of them. No, no, no. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, Fucking bro. Mark, bro. bro. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was <laughs> raised Catholic. They never told us that. <laughs> no, no, they won't tell you Give that. me a sin. That is great. It's time to get going. They, they didn't tell you guys a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So yeah. break this down. Break this down. Right. There were pyramids everywhere. Yeah. The Catholic, how did the Catholics find out about it? Are they reading the ancient texts? Oh, no. They just know that we got we to gotta eradicate this civilization science because... We want to impose our will on the people. See, the Catholic Church went through something called the Inquisitions. Yes. And it was the Papal Inquisitions where they went around the planet and they killed and tortured and murdered 80 million people to convert them into Christianity. And Got it. So it wasn't spread like they tell you in church. Wow. The gospel means the good news. Mm. It was really bad news when these people showed up. It, it would was be like force. America showing up to your country and you have oil buried in the ground. Mm. Really? It's bad. Wow. So they were like giving women fucking rights and shit. <laughs> <Let> <laughs> them read. They, <laughs> absurd. They have. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people, man? <laughs> if you go to the museum in Rome, wow. yeah. you'll find they still have the torture See? tools there in the museum. They're proud of them. They have the Pope's spear. The Pope's, yeah, spear, which went right. up in a woman's vagina. I saw that one. Pop them open from the inside. Good. They had a spire Delicious. that uh, they would lower a man down onto the spire through his butthole over and over again, up and down, up and down until he <laughs> died. Damn, no diddy, bro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. For real. Uh, they just had all these torture mechanisms. Yeah, yeah. What they would do is get the leader, the king, the chief, you know, the, 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 the um, you know, the guy who does all the sage and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, the medicine man. Yeah. And then they would say, look, we need to convert everyone to this. And if you don't, you're then gonna we're going to kill you. You're going to fuck you from the inside out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Damn. So yeah, they would yeah. make everyone. Who would do the fucking? Because I feel like that would be against <laughs> Catholicism. That, it was, it would be the, one of these people from their church system. And be, hey, I, so there was a job. fucker. There was a yeah. guy who would there have There was that. a guy who'd connect you and get you lined up perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and do that. Uh, sick people, but they want you to <laughs> <laughs> do what you gotta do. Yeah. All right? yeah. It's wild. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta spread the gospel. You gotta yeah, spread the gospel. You gotta spread the gospel. It is the good word. Under the, under the order of Rome. Yeah. And, you know, but the, the thing Rome said was look, we gotta get this money. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out, get out, convert our pagan system into a Christian system. Mm -hmm. We're gonna combine the two together. That's why we have all these fake holidays that are all pagan holidays yeah. in Christianity. That's right. my man, Constantine, right? Yeah, Constantine. They just combined it all together. Mm -hmm. Now we got the taxes and we got the, the offerings. Yeah. We got both. And now we got yeah. uh, uh, the people unified. True. And now we can put our boot on everybody's neck. And so once they reeled up the, the leader of that village or that town and killed him like that, and everyone saw it, it was like, okay, I'm ready to learn now. Damn. Teach me your language. Show me, talk to me about your God. By the second, third generation, you, mm. you're born... 
You give it a name, a race, and a religion, and you don't even know who you are. Wow. Hmm. So do you know which church in America or which churches are on Old Pyramids? Oh, no. You just have to go and just go out there. See, anything on, most of the older ones that are on hills mm. with the triptych windows. The triptych windows are the same windows that mimic the three windows that you see in a lot of the pyramids, like in Chichen Itza, Yucatan Peninsula, and all of that. Those older ones, if you go to Mexico City, how I learned this, I went to Mexico City. I got oh. a homegrown archaeologist. He started showing me all the hills and all the, all the old, old churches. He said those were all pyramids. So it's wild. Like when you go to the Mexico City pyramids specifically, yeah. they show you what it looked like before mm -hmm. and what it looked like after. You can Ooh. never look at a hill again. Right. And not think it's a pyramid right. after you go see it. <laughs> Facts. It's so if go look at it, you can see these? not Chichen Itza. Yeah, that's the triptych, yes. Ah, wow. At the wow. top of all Catholic churches, with the older ones, they all have that triptych design. Oh, and most of the ones wow. that are old in the 1800s built on those hills were Go to the pyramids. Mexico City pyramids and do it before excavation. Because what happens is grass just starts to grow on them. Mm -hmm. yes. So they just start to look like terrain. Hell yeah. yeah. And hills. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they just Big look like hills. hills. And people have all these like explanations for it. Like uh, my tour guide. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. So like wow. if you just saw that, like that black yeah. and white picture to mm -hmm. the right right there. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Tell me that you're, you would See. never look at that and assume pyramid. Right. Yeah. Wow. Right. Wow. So now I have to look at every fucking hill and go, yeah. should we dig this thing up? And <laughs> right, see? And right. some of them are just hills. Yeah, some are just hills, but some are these. Mm. Right? Mm. Got it. So when the Anunnaki came to Earth, mm. were there already Homo sapiens here? Yes, good question. There were already, not good Homo question. sapiens, but hominids. No, there weren't. Our homo cousins. Sapiens. Bad question. Come on, Come on. They, were, they were Homo erectus, they were our cousins. Yeah, they were. But I believe that they were more intelligent than us spiritually. So is, not it, is it fair to say that the. Aliens were the first ones to smash monkeys. <laughs> no, they didn't do the monkeys. They, they, <laughs> we were they had we, to, right? we, because what we were here, they didn't call us apes, they called us beings. Yeah. And in the epic of Atrahasis, there was this big war getting ready to happen. Mm -hmm. And Anki and Lil and Anu were in this place in South Africa called Adam's Calendar, where they found the very first gold mines that human beings were working underneath their boot. Anyway, so. The EGG, who were the working class Anunnaki, came from Mars to Earth to go to war against them because they felt like they were being enslaved, even though they weren't supposed to be slaves. They were just working class exactly. people. They felt like they were doing yeah. too much labor. For 250,000 years, they were working. Whoa. And they, want, they came to Earth and they and, and circled the, the campus and they said, we're going to go to war. And it was like, well, why? And they were like, well, we, we've been asking you for relief. The, work is t the workload is too heavy and we don't have any women. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a big issue. They were complaining about no women, literally yeah. in the ancient tablets. Uh, and so Enki says, <laughs> <laughs> "They need a king of diamonds." Yeah, what, <laughs> were they, what were they saying? What were they saying? Enki the says, tablets? "I have an idea," because they had kind of discussed in a weird way fashioning people. That means like robotics. Okay. But they had talked about their home planet. When they tried that, it didn't. It failed. So that's a clue as to what AI and robotics can do to a planet. They were like, there's an existing being here, though, that we can add our essence to, talking about genetic modification, mm. and get them to bear your load. So don't make robots, make people that right. can do your work for you. Exactly. Whoa. Yes. Wow. So they started That's with true. that method first. So they're just forcing human beings to do their work for them. Yes. That's crazy. And and that's how they bring that? and bring them the offerings. Yeah. When you bring the offerings, yeah. your best harvest and your and your fresh calves, that's their meat. That's their food. Ah, uh, this is what you see in the biblical text. They're eating. Mm -hmm. That's their oh, meals. They're not yeah. going to go out and hunt. I mean, this archaeologist was was talking to me in Egypt in 2014. He was just laughing. He was showing me one of the altars. He said these people were so dumb. He just said his own people, his own people. He says they would line up in ancient times Ooh. for miles to bring their best offerings to the head god. Wow. And the god was just putting him all this food in the storehouses. And he showed me where the storehouses were inside these temples. They would put these things in there. Then they had these other areas underneath the temple where other priests wow. would go underneath and speak and it would resonate their voice. Mm. And it would be the voice of God talking. Mm. And it was all this, nothing but a sham to get them to bring all this food and gold and offerings and everything else. I mean, I do believe that, because if you go to Chichen Itza, uh, you can have a, com the limestone mm -hmm. uh, creates this like a vibration effect, yeah. and you can have like a conversation, really? like me and you can wow. talk to one another mm -hmm. across a football field, yes. like this. Oh, wow. Yeah, the sound bounces. It's crazy. It comes right back at you. Yeah, so, so if they were using that as some yeah. sort of a technological advantage, like some Wizard yeah. of Oz shit. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. So were they literally eating, or were they eating off like the energy of the sacrifice? 
Or no, they, they, like, were, they were eating the food. They were barbecuing. What about sacrifices? <laughs> what about, they had a cookout? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't barbecuing. <laughs> 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 They're just aliens. Yeah. <laughs> eating oxtail and shit. Red hot. So they sacrificed some more hot sauce. <laughs> I mean, you know, think about it. I mean, you know, if you were the ruler of a, of a planet. Yeah. Billy, I think you might eat? be putting on what you would do in that situation. <laughs> yeah. Is that possible? No, That's no, what that's I'm food. telling you, these people <laughs> ate the food because when you, I take tours to Egypt all the time. Last year, yeah. I took 140 people oh, on wow. a private tour. Yeah. And when I t- go, I take a homegrown Egyptologist and a homegrown guide with us. And he takes us to the temples <clears throat> where they actually have the, uh, <clears throat> hold on, where they actually have the storehouses. Mm. <laughs> 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 <You're> getting hungry. <laughs> Billy's getting hungry. Thank you, It's like that damn barbecue. <laughs> hey, man. Right, see. Yeah. Okay, so go. See so you there. But they, take, they take you to all the different we, spots. Yeah, so we take you to, to the temples and we yeah. show you where they would hide the food. But okay. they take all the offerings and where they would store it. Yeah. It was their grocery store, literally. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Is, is Jesus part alien? I believe so. And was he part alien and trying to do good? Yes, I believe so. So he was breaking away. He was using his power. And yeah. he's like, yo, what these aliens are doing to yeah. us is fucked up. Right. We need to break True. free from that. Yeah. And I'm going to liberate the people. Yeah. So you have to understand. You, you're, you're right on point. There's good and evil yeah, in everything. Jesus is the man, bro. Yeah. yeah he's There's good and evil Wait, in everything. We're all part alien yeah. at this point, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's in our DNA. Oh, fuck. I yeah. thought he was a little bit more. Well, he was, he was more. Extra. He was a little bit more, yes. How was he a little bit more? Well, if you look at the Apocrypha text, you discover that not only was Jesus' mom a virgin birth, but his grandmother was also a virgin birth. Nobody ever talks about that in church. and didn't hear about that in Sunday school. Wait a minute. So his grandma. So, wow. Yeah. So you see this establishment of this particular bloodline. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he comes through the womb and then begins to regain all of his own memories. Right. So he is a reincarnation of himself from a previous lifetime. Oof. That's why sometimes I hypothesize that he could be Thoth the Atlantean who says that he could incarnate on and in any plane he desires. Could he have decided now to come back through the womb? So Thel the Atlantean human? was the king of the Atlantean Empire. Yeah, he was, a, uh, he was one of them. Or one he of the one. leaders of the Atlantean yes. Empire. He yeah. is reincarnating inside Jesus. Yeah. And why has he chosen to help the people instead of enslave us like he did in Good the Good question. When you look at the ancient yes. text where Jesus gets all of his information from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Emerald Tablets of Thoth. We need to talk about wow. the Emerald Tablets, bro. 36, 38,000 year old text. In there, in the book that I wrote about it, I line up the Christian text yeah. and I line up Jesus' text from the New Testament. How, we, people, I, this is going to seem yeah. really ignorant. People were writing shit down 36,000 years ago? Both authored these tablets himself. He actually wrote, he didn't have a scribe. A lot of the times these God Goodness. figures or these leaders would have oh. scribes. Right. He actually yeah. wrote it down himself. He actually put it onto these uh, these tablets. And these, what is he writing in? What, what language? Well, sure. it looked like the language was runes, R-U-N-E-S, okay? And uh, in this text, he writes about uh, coming, to, to, coming to this planet after the Great Flood and seeing the temples of wow. ancient Kemet sticking up out of the mud and actually going on a mission to help rebuild civilization. Not that it was for the first time, but he's rebuilding it to a high level. So it was already built, yeah. destroyed. He's like, hey, let's run it back again. Right. His father sends him on a mission. His father says, go uh, go to the land of Cam and do the plan that ye know of. So he gets his he gets his crew and he gets into the great ship of the master and he takes off until the planet disappears. This Which is, is the text. horizon. Wow. Right, he's up in the sky. Oh, he's coming from... He's in a ship that goes up. Gotcha. Because you know this, because when he gets over the land of Cam, he goes, I see the land of Cam beneath us mm. and I see the temples rising up out of the mud that were flooded by the fountains. Now we come back. Now he comes down to the ground. The fountains he, is the great flood. Right. Got it. Okay. He opens the door, he comes out, and he calls these people barbarians coming to attack him, yeah. probably Crazy. territorial. Crazy. And he says, I raised my staff and sent out a ray of vibration, stopping them still as fragments of stone of the mountain. So now he's got a stun gun that can freeze them in their tracks. That's mm. fire. That's technology. That- <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> And we have something so like, is the spaceship. But, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. but we have something right now in the military called the active denial system. Which is? It's the same when exact... When gays try to join? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to strike that from the record, Your Honor. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's a system that works just like what he described in ancient tablets, yeah. where it sends out a beam, a ray. Type an active denial system, put it up there. 
it sends out a beam and yeah. Okay. Yeah. a crowd of people coming to attack, right? To riot or whatever. And it stops them in their tracks. It makes them feel like they're in pain. Makes them feel like they want to vomit. Put voices in their head. Wow. Whatever you want to do, you can program the frequency into their body to make it do that. Is this what the people said they were experiencing in the... Uh, Cuba? Yeah. Like Havana, Havana Syndrome. Uh, yeah, Havana Syndrome. Is yeah. That? yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Keep going, keep going. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Right, so, right. so then here's the key about the God thing. Him, you know, not wanting to be one of these gods. When, they, when he released them from that, he started talking to the people peacefully. And they started groveling at his feet. And he said, no, no, no. Get up. He said, I'm a son of Atlantis. He didn't say I'm God. And he said, I'm a son of Atlantis and I'm here to bring you back up to a high level of civilization. And he worked with the people for a couple thousand years to rebuild that Whoa. civilization. Before he left and told us, he told all of his people that came here with him, spread out around the planet. This is how Atlantis advanced again. Spread out around the planet and duplicate what we did here. And this is where you see similar stories Correct. across ancient texts around the world. Wow. Correct. And those similar stories are... Well, Higher intelligence comes mm -hmm. to us, bestows yep. upon us this wisdom after the floods. The Lakota tribe, the Hopi tribe, yeah. the Dogon tribe of Africa, I mean, the aboriginals, I mean, I could keep going on and on and on. Matter of fact, the verbal handed down history of the aboriginals, because I've been there before and hung out, went, went for a walk about in the outback with the aboriginals and went on a trail to go find proto-Egyptian wow. hieroglyphs, which we did stumble across See. and get them documented, that they were seated on this planet by Pleiadians. Pleiadians Pleiadians, were... from the Pleiades. Got you. The same people that the Sumerians talk about, they call it Momo in the ancient texts. The, uh, the, the ancient Egyptians revere it as well, the Pleiades. It's in every text, Homer's Iliad, the Bible, the, the Mahabharata, mm. any text you go to, and most artifacts are going to have a depiction of the Pleiades or talk about the Pleiades. And what's the depiction? The stars, the seven stars. Oh, it's that star system. Yeah. Subaru Ooh. even has it on their logo for their car. So it's it's a gay lesbian it's a lesbian uh, it's a lesbian galaxy. Is that what's going on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shout out Subarus. We love y'all. It's a constellation. <laughs> it's a star system. You you talked about uh Jesus where he went yeah. from like twelve to like thirty two. Yeah. Can, mm -hmm. can you explain uh Jesus' okay. trajectory from twelve to thirty two that we don't have in the Bible? Yeah. Like, so, what does that mean? So Jesus disappears from the Bible at the age of twelve, right? Oh. right he disappears and well, where does he go? There's wow. another text yeah. called the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. And in the Gospel of the Holy Twelve, which was omitted from the Bible, he goes to Egypt with his mother. Now, I've been yeah. there, and when I take my tour, when I take people on tour, I take them to the place where he slept. It's still there. It's a crypt now. It's like a I've place to go there. You know where it's at, it's right? In, it's inside a church, right? Coptic Cairo. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Right inside that church. It converted into a church. And uh, he, he went there to study the Egyptian mysteries. He went there also to learn all about the ancient mystery schools. And then he left there and he went to Tibet to learn uh, the mystic art. No, no, he, Tibet, he went to go learn, uh, not mystic arts, but went yeah. to go learn spirituality. He went to Tibet. And mystic arts, yes, mystic arts. And then he went down into India, learned about reincarnation and all of that. And then he came back uh, down and he reappears in the biblical text when God says in the Bible, I call my son out of Egypt. What an episode for Akash to miss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't tell him any of this. By the, way. <laughs> the ego that he will have finding out that Jesus learned everything from India. Yeah. Oh, we can't tell him. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Okay, he so learned he Reiki healing the, in Tibet and you know, energy healing with his hands. The mystic arts, I have to correct myself, the mystic arts he learned in India. Got it. And then coming back down, teaching reincarnation all the way back. And how do we know that he went out there to uh, India? Well, there's the records that have been kept. There's complete records. And even the uh, Dalai Lama confirmed that he was in Tibet at one time. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. How do wow. they keep reincarnation out of the Bible? Well, the Bible is about reincarnation, but they doctored it up to make you think <clears throat> that it's not about reincarnation. Uh, but when you even look into the book of Revelations, it says Whoa. you're going to get a new name and a new body. It didn't say you was going to be a spirit with energy. It said you're going to get a new name and mm. a new body, a physical body, uh, and that you're going to live inside of that body. Uh, and, and so you're going to come back and be born again. Wow. You know, mm. and the, in the biblical text where people are getting confused about this born again, like uh, in the spirit thing, it's really born again in consciousness, you know, getting dipped into a bucket of water and all that. That's a waste of time. Somebody dumping you in a pool and all that. You just get wet. 
mm-hmm. dumping babies and splashing the babies. <laughs> it's a waste of money, a waste of time. So, so what you're saying is that's just a metaphor for this this uh, conscious uh, rebirth. That conscious rebirth. What you we can do, we can have a rebirth right now. Right now, if we decide to look at ourselves yeah. and think about things that we were doing wrong maybe in our lives right now things that could be better with ourselves and we begin to work on ourselves and we go back and look have a meeting again in two weeks and say what have we individually worked on within ourselves to become a better person that's spiritual rebirth. that is rebirth we had just now been born again in the spirit and you can be born again many times in one lifetime with this um video i'm very sure that you've actually learned 18 or two from it and please and please please don't forget to hit on the like button and also share my videos to your friends and family. If you like what I do here, what you need to do is to subscribe, turn on your post notification bell, so you get notified by YouTube anytime I post videos like this. I wanna write to this um, video that was used in, in this uh, content creation. All right belongs to the rightful content creator of the great piece of art. I don't intend to infringe on your copyrighted materials. So thank you and I appreciate your love and support always on the channel. Don't forget also to drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this particular one. Your thoughts and view are someone's, uh, someone's um, point of view, which they really need to, uh, to digest. So what you just need to do is to drop it in the comment section. If you have other um, reaction videos you want me to react to, do also to drop it in the comment section. I'll be glad and excited to react to it. So thank you. I appreciate you always, like I said earlier. So to so come here with another beautiful one, do where to stay put, stay safe, and also stay subscribed. It's all bye for now.